Welcome back. Um, now we're going to do uh, question number 11 from C12, January 2015, IAL. We have here a curve, like a sine curve, something related to the sine curve. It says, figure 4 shows a sketch of the curve C with the equation y equals sine x minus 60 and x between minus 360 degrees and 360 degrees. Write down the exact coordinates of the points at which C meets the two coordinate axes. Okay. So let's start off with the, the y-axis. Let's start off with this point here. Okay. Now we know that on the y-axis, we know that x equals 0. Right? So we've got y equals sine x minus 60. We have to put x equals 0. So y is going to be the sine of negative 60 degrees. Okay, so this has to be in radian in degree mode. So shift. Oops. Angle unit. Degree is one. Okay, it's in degree mode. So we're going to just put sine of negative 60. And that gives us negative root 3 over 2. Negative root 3 over 2. So we can say that this is going to be um, 0 and negative root 3 over 2. So that's the coordinates where it hits the y axis. So you can say y axis, coordinates 0 and negative root 3 over 2. You're going to leave it in its exact third form because it says here exact coordinates. Okay, now we're going to find where it hits the x axis. Now that's, that can be done in, in a number of ways. Okay, we can do it by using when y equals 0, or we could actually do it by just thinking about transformations. Okay, if you have y equals f and you've got inside the function x minus a, that means it shifts a unit to the right. Okay, the opposite of that. So basically, we know that the sine curve, um, the sine curve between negative 360 and plus 360 will go like this. That's how it normally looks. Okay, that would be zero. That would be 180. And that would be 360. And that would be negative 180. And that would be negative 360. So basically, we've got sine x minus 60. So everything has shifted 60 degrees to the right. So this is going to be, it was there, it's going to be 60 degrees. Okay, this was at 180 before. Okay, it's going to be 60 degrees to the right. So that would be 240. Okay, um, this would have been at minus 360. So it's going to be 360. It's going to be 60 to the right. That's going to be 300. And this would have been minus 180, but it shifted 60 degrees to the right. So it's going to be minus 120. Okay, so uh, we could do it in that way if you wanted to. Right? Or you could do it by saying, oh, we've got to solve the equation sine x minus 60 is equal to 0. Okay, when on the x axis, y is equal to 0. And we've got to solve it between the limits of minus 360 degrees x to 360. Now we've got to change these limits because we've got x minus 60. So you have x minus 60. So we've got to take away 60 from this, that gives us 300. And we're going to take away 60 from this, that gives us minus 420. Okay. So let's see what happens here. So we're going to have x minus 60 is equal to. Now, when does the sine of the, the sine equal zero? We can do it traditionally using the calculator, there's no problem. Shift sine of zero, it will, it will give you zero. Okay, of course it will give you zero. Okay, so we know the first angle is zero. That's within our range. Now remember the other angle is found by with sine by doing 180 minus the answer. So it's gonna be 180 minus zero which is 180. Okay, but our range, let me just make that meter, 0 and you got 180. 
90 degrees. Okay? Now, the other angles are found by doing 360 added to and 360 taken away from all of these angles. Okay? So if you add 360 to these angles, uh, we're actually going to be outside of the range if we go to the, if we go, if we add 360, that will give you 360, which is outside of the range. That will give me 360 plus 180, which is way outside the range. But if we subtract 360 on this side, you're going to have minus 360. Zero minus 360 is in our range. We can go down to minus 420. And 180 minus 360 is minus 180. Minus 180. Okay, so we have these four angles. Okay, now as I said, 360 is outside of our range because we had to modify it. So now we can find all the angles by just adding 60 to each of them. So we're going to have 60. We're going to have 240. We're going to have minus 300. I'm going to have minus 120. Add, add 60 to each of these. Okay, so those are four angles. Okay, it's best to write them in order, but you see they're the same angles that we got by using this. Okay, we said that 300 minus 120, we got, um, sorry, negative 300, that should be, that's the negative side of course, negative 300, negative 120, um, negative, uh, the positive 60 and positive 240. Okay, so we can do this question either by using um, transformations, which is probably the easiest way to do it if you know your sine curve, All right? or we can do it by using, you know, the traditional method of just you know, um, solving sine x minus 60 equals 0. Okay, both of those ways are perfectly acceptable. And there we have all the answers done. Write down the exact coordinates of the points. Ah, best to write it in coordinate form. Okay, so the coordinates are going to be 60, 0, and 240, 0, and you've got minus 300, 0, and you've got minus 120, 0. And we also had this point here, which is 0 and negative 3 over 2. Those are all the places where it hits a coordinate axis. Okay? Thank you for watching.